Hello everyone, this is Fawad. Welcome to Future on Cloud. In this video, I am going to talk about Fortinet Firewall on Azure, how you can deploy the Fortinet Firewall and how you can route your server's traffic to your Fortinet Firewall. As you know, by default, whenever you configure your servers, and this traffic is routed through Azure infrastructure, but we wanted to modify it just for sake of security reason, or if you wanted to control the traffic between the server. So you have to pass through that traffic from the Fortinet firewall, which you can deploy on the cloud. So in this video, we will see how you can manipulate the traffic using your defined routes and forward your traffic from VM to your internal net network, which will pass through your Fortinet firewall and then to the internet. So let's uh, start our lab. So here I logged in on my Azure portal. This is my subscription, Future on Cloud. And here I have just configured a VNet. Let me show you. So in this VNet, I have configured two address spaces. One is for the firewall and second is for the servers. So as you can see here in the diagram, this is my external side of my firewall. The external series will be 10.0.10 and internal network will be 10.0.20 and the management interface, which is not showing here, it will be 10.0.30. And for my production virtual machine, I will use 1 and 2.168.10.x and 20.x. And here you can see my two VNet which address spaces, which I am going to just left. So let's start the deployment of our first virtual machine, which is prod VM, and then the dev VM, and we will see how the traffic is passing through by default on these virtual machines because um, by default, whenever you configure a virtual machine, it will get an internet access to the Azure cloud. So let's start the deployment first. So let's click on home. I will use my subscription the machine name or VM. Fine availability is online because I am just it for lab generation purposes. So it will be plus 11 Pro. The name OC that is secret. Um, I'll use person. with standard SSD just to save the cost for the networking I will use RDVM with no public IP that will be done and security group will be basic just Check mark whenever you delete the virtual machine, then I say will be deleted automatically. Load balancing done. Save it as it is. Let's review it. The resource group is future on cloud. Prod VM is the name. This is the region. And zone is 
I selected standard images Windows 11 Pro, standard vCPU, 2 vCPU, and 4 GB RAM. And subnet is production. This is the one which I'm going to create now. Let's click on create. So let me pause this video until it creates and meanwhile I will create a second virtual machine which is my dev VM. The same I will follow the same process. So let me pause this video and I'll I'll resume it back once the deployment is completed. Alright, so both VMs are up and running now. Uh, actually uh, the dev VM is in the creation process and whereas the prod VM is working right now uh, right now i did not connect any public ip with this virtual machine so we cannot access it directly so in order to access this virtual machine either we need to go with the bastion host or we have to configure a jump server uh, so which you can access this virtual machine and can see the connectivity of so for this deployment the jump server deployment is in progress so meanwhile, let it complete and we will access these virtual machines. As I did not configure any public IP on the machine, so even then the internet is working by default uh, because of their network security groups. So let me show you these groups as well. This is the default security group. Here you can see allow internet outbound. So by default internet access is allowed so this is what we are going to witness here and it on we will route this traffic from our follow uh, coordinate firewall so let's see our jump server is also ready okay so jump server is under creation process so let it complete then we access both prod and dev vm to the jump server all right so deployment has been completed now so as you can see here on the jump server is configured with the public ip address and the remaining two servers are not configured with the public ip so let's access our jump server now for that uh, let desktop all right so this is the public ip address 2021139205 2021139205 20, this is exactly the same ip By default, whenever you create a virtual network like this virtual network I have created, whatever the address space you will configure here, the routing will be enabled by default at the back end from, from, the, from the Microsoft side or Azure side. So you don't need to worry about the interview and subnets. So all subnets can communicate with each other. So uh, let's verify the IP address of our production virtual machine. RBM IP is one and one and not four. Save it on.
so here you can see I am able to access my prod VM through the jump server or this prod VM doesn't have a pub direct public IP so I just access this prod VM let's check what is the default IP what is the public IP configured here Also verify the internet access as well. You can see internet is working now. Believe trace will not work here. All right, so here you can see internet is working even without the public IP address. Right, so. Now we need to manipulate with the default routing table and we have to forward its traffic to our Fortinet firewall which we are going to deploy now. So I'm going to stop this video a moment now and stay tuned, keep watching this video where we will start the deployment of our Fortinet firewall and forward all the virtual machine traffic to the firewall. See you in next video.